my father believed that the block is not only a convenient for people but also a chance for Vietnamese people to have their own newspaper. He, he thinks that that's only fair if we have another side. For example, you are a government, you tell me whatever you want me to hear. So that would be wrong. I, I, I need to have my own idea. Nguyen is a front runner. Um, he was popular. He was well recognized. And he really represents not just in Vietnam, but across the world, the type of journalist who takes on the government, and Wynne was one of, those, one of those journalists who really felt that things had to be said, uh, and said them uh, even though he knew there would be a price to pay in the end. For several years, uh, Wynne had been running a, uh, a very popular blog, uh, Peasant's Pipe, it was called UK. And I touched on a wide range of issues, um, a lot of them hot button issues that the government just really couldn't tolerate. Uh, they went after him and finally in 2008 came up with a, a conviction of, of tax evasion. Uh, in 2011 that sentence ended, but he never left prison. Uh, it was really a harsh sentence, he got uh, 12 years uh, in prison and uh, five more years house arrest. His experience in jail has been pretty harsh. Um, at one point he went on a hunger strike recently. The, in the same camp with my father, I have two more people. Uh, Ta Phong Tung is one of, one of them. And her mom had suicide, had burned herself, so up her will to protect her, her daughter. I always think that a person who is going to die they, uh, they got no reason to telling a lie. They only telling the truth, the last truth. At the time my father was in hunger strike, me and my mom, we are preparing to come back to the prison. And we think a lot about that. And you know, we are designed to buy only one way ticket. At that time he already hunger strike for 10, 25 days. So I, I believe that I will try the last way if I have to. It's really a meaning moment with me, one way ticket. So luckily, after we asked to visit by my father, they allow me to come in, inside and, and visit him for only five minutes. And even though my father is still in prison, it doesn't mean that your attention not make any change. It's already make a lot of change here. And it, it makes me feel safe. I feel safe because of your attention. <laughs>